Hi, my name is Yu Wei Chen. I'm a medical oncologist, assistant clinical professor at the University of California, San Diego. It is my great pleasure to be here at the ASCO 2024 presenting our data. Um, here, I'm going to talk about our study um, using trans transcriptomic signatures in identify androgen receptor signatures and also neuroprostate cancer signatures uh, across the whole prostate histology. So most of the prostate histology is the uh, prostate adenocarcinoma. A small subset of castration-resistant prostate cancer will undergo small cell uh, lineage transition uh, to neuroendocrine prostate cancer. The morphological characteristics between the prostate endocarcinoma and the neuroendocrine prostate cancer are not fully defined, and prostate endocarcinoma can actually have mixed histology with the small cell prostate cancer. Previously, um, the androgen receptor signaling signature and the neuroendocrine prostate cancer signature have been identified. So in this study, uh, we collaborate with the CARES uh, database. Uh, we had approximately 4,500 prostate cancer tumor samples. Uh, we further categorized the tumor samples by the two gene signatures into four categories. The most common one in our study was the AR positive and the neuroendocrine negative subtype, represent roughly 36%. And the second common type is the double negative, represents uh, roughly 30%. And the third one is the AR negative and neuroendocrine positive subgroup represent 20%. At least one is the uh, double positive 40% of the samples represent this subgroup. The most common histology in our study is the prostate annular carcinoma. Two thirds of the prostate tumors are from the primary prostate tumors, and one third of the samples are from the metastatic tumors, including the lymph node, lung, liver, CNS metastasis. So what we found is that there is, there is distinct distributions of the four molecular subtypes depends on the tissue sites. So for the AR positive and, and the neuroendocrine negative subgroup, it is more common among the primary prostate tumors, the lymph node metastasis, and also the, uh, the lung metastasis. For the neuroendocrine positive by the, by the androgen receptor negative subgroups, this subgroup has higher representation among the bone and also the liver metastasis. For the double negative subgroup, it was found to have higher representation among the CNS metastasis. So as we learn from the result is that the prostate uh, cancer is actually quite diverse, even with the histology prostate endocarcinoma. We are hoping in the future we can have more personalized approach in terms of treatment with the two gene signatures. In the end, I would like to highlight a clinical trial that is currently under development, led by Dr. Rena McKay from uh, UC San Diego and also Dr. Misha Beltran from Dana Farber. The study is the PREDICT study, which is a biomarker-driven study and will utilize the two gene signatures to allocate treatment options in castration-resistant prostate cancer. Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.